guys, David Clayton here with GuitarBreakdown.com and I want to thank you guys for stopping by watching another one of these videos. Uh, before we start, I just real quickly wanted to thank everybody who's gone over to the website and donated. Uh, we've had a lot of people ask you know, how they could support us as far as uh, keeping these videos coming and all that kind of stuff. So we put a little donate button. The website's not even really launched yet, but we put a little, uh, you, you can watch a video over there. It's GuitarBreakdown.com, of course. Um, and the links below if you want to click on it, but, uh, a lot of people have donated already and we really appreciate that. And like we said, we're keeping track of the people that do that. Uh, we're going to offer something exclusive to those people who are supporting us in that way and, uh, much appreciated. You don't have to do it, but the options there. And then also, uh, if you want to further support us, you can always, you know, if you haven't clicked subscribe or, you know, like the videos and all that kind of stuff, that stuff helps us out too. Um, and the other thing is, you know, share, share Guitar Breakdown and this YouTube channel with uh, your Facebook friends and uh, if you're on any forums and everything, that really helps. Just trying to get the word out. We do have a lot of really cool things coming up in the next couple months. It's taken a little time, as we've said, um, but especially at the beginning of the year, we kind of got hit with everything kind of coming together. We have like four really cool guest artists that we're going to have. Um, we have one really cool series of stuff that's going to give you guys a lot of answer a lot of questions that you guys have had as far as uh, gear stuff and playing all together in one so anyway without further ado so thank you for that and with this lesson what we're going to do is we're going to talk about uh, Alex Hutchins um, amazing guitar player and his uh, feel and tone and phrasing is just awesome in almost everything that I see and in this idea, it's off of a video that was on YouTube that he's demonstrating a Roland amp. And uh, he just does this little, there's a whole bunch of licks in there that are really cool, but this one stood out to me. It's like a really kind of straight ahead bebop jazz arpeggio kind of idea. And we've had a lot of questions about that lately too, about uh, how do I get that jazzy sound, you know, not just running up and down scales. How do I get some kind of phrasing going on? And I think this will help, not, not as much with the phrasing, but that feel of playing arpeggios and scales and chromaticism and not really sounding like you're doing each individual thing. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy this lesson and uh, I'll put a link down below to uh, where the video is and also the time code where this lick occurs. So I hope you guys enjoy and thanks again for stopping by and the support and I'll see you in a second. All right, so what we're going to do is what we always do and just walk note for note through this whole thing. And then we'll, we'll talk a little bit about theory and what's going on. But at the end, we'll actually break it down a little more so that you can understand. It's kind of a long idea if you were to learn this as one giant lick. So we're going to try and make it useful so that you see some of the little parts that are being put together uh, and take those and make those little concepts so that you can use those in your own playing. Um, and usually that's that works best when you learn these kind of long licks so that you actually can, instead of just learning something that's cool to play you you have little bits and pieces you could take away and use in your own solo uh, without it sounding like this giant lick thrown into your solo so anyway let's start out with uh, the beginning it starts out on the fifth fret of the a string and it goes five seven eight on the a string so that's it goes up an arpeggio, so it goes on the seventh fret of the D string and the fifth fret on the G string. So then it slides from the eighth fret to the ninth fret on the G string. So now he has an octave thing going on with an effect, and it sounds like uh, I think that's when he punches it in. And uh, maybe it's throughout this whole thing, but you really hear it on that note. I don't think he actually goes down and plays that low E note, but he may. So, And so you can play that low E note on the A string, 7th fret. Then it goes to the next part of the lick, which is... And that's just your 7th fret, or I'm sorry, ninth fret on the G string, 10th fret on the G string. Then the 10th fret on the B string to the 8th fret on the E string. Then you slide up again another half step from the 11th fret to the 12th fret. Okay, so you have this slide thing happening. So you have... 
slide there, then and a slide thing there. Now the feel of that idea is slightly different, and we'll go back to that later. But um, so you can feel the timing of that idea is completely different. Then what it does after it slides up there, it starts walking down a scale, and this is where he introduces chromatic movement. So you have the 8th fret of the E string to the 10th uh, fret and 8th fret of the B string. This is where the chromatic movement comes in, so it goes from the 10, 9, 8, 7, all on the G string. So that whole thing is... Then he goes another... Uh, this is more scalular, so it's... Uh, playing the, if you're thinking in C, you're playing the root in the major 7. You're playing the 10th fret of the D string to the 9th fret of the D string. So you have that chromatic on the G string, then 10-9 on the, G, uh, the D string, back up to that 7th fret of the G string. So... Then it goes chromatically on that D string, which is 10, 9, 8, 7. So that whole thing is. And there's a lot of dynamics going on there where you're picking certain notes a little harder. And again, we'll try and get back to that later. So, uh. Then it plays that note again after it walks down chromatically plays that note one more time real quick, so the 7th fret of the D string. Then he walks down from the 11th, 10th, 8, 7 on the D string, so you're skipping that 9th fret. Then it goes to the 10th fret, and so that was all on the A string. Then you go to the 10th fret and the 8th fret on the E string. So that whole thing is... Okay, so when it gets down there, it goes back up to the A string, 7th fret, so... Then it plays the 10th fret of the E string, but you barely hear this. And I almost missed it the first time. Um, okay, barely hits that note. Then it goes to the A string again. That was on the E string. Now you go to the A string, 10, 9, 6, 7. So 10, 9, 6, 7. And the way I play that is I slide my pinky down from the 10 to the 9. Then I play my first finger and second finger on 6, 7. So the whole thing is... Then it goes, after it does that, it goes to the E string from the 8th fret to the 5th fret. Then it goes up an arpeggio from the 8th fret of the E string to the 7th fret of the A string and the 5th fret of the D string. So that's just a C major arpeggio, right? runs up this arpeggio where it's the 7th fret of the A string to the 8th fret of the A string to the 7th fret of the D string and 5th fret of the G string. So you can look at that as an F major arpeggio too, this is starting on the, uh, the major 7. Then it slides up when you're on that 5th uh, fret of the G string, you play the 8th fret of the G string, slide up to the 9th fret and then all on the G string, and then you play the 8th fret of the B string, so that's... And then real quickly it goes and shifts here and goes... 
and there it plays this ninth fret of the G string to the tenth fret of the G string to the tenth fret of the B string, eighth fret of the E string, and you slide again. It might slide from the tenth to the twelfth or the eleventh to the twelfth. Either one, it goes really quick. Or kind of can't tell the difference that much. And then it resolves back to that C note on the E string, eighth fret. So one more time, real slow, that whole thing. Okay, so that's the whole lick, note for note, and now let's dive back in a little bit and talk a little theory and kind of break down the parts.